how to memorize polyatomic ions easily. Firstly, I challenge you that you will not find this trick in any book or in any video format because it is my personal trick of memorizing polyatomic ions. Secondly, I again challenge you that after completely watching this lecture, you will learn the art of memorizing polyatomic ions. If you do not learn the art of memorizing polyatomic ions, stop watching my lecture in the future and never trust me again. At the end of this lecture, I will teach you my personal code of naming polyatomic ions. So watch this lecture completely. Now the trick I use to memorize polyatomic ions is add trick. For example, consider polyatomic ions of nitrogen family. Remember that nitrogen polyatomic ions with oxygen starts from 3 like NO3, then NO2 and nitrogen. Now the charge on first two ions is negative 1 and the charge on the last nitrogen is negative 3. In case of nitrogen, I take this nitre and I write it here in front of each ion. Here I use the add trick. I write AID. This A stands for add, this I stands for ID and this D stands for ID. So I get nitrate, nitrite and nitride. Therefore, using this add trick, we can memorize the list of polyatomic ions of nitrogen. So note it down these polyatomic ions of nitrogen. Now let me teach you the polyatomic ions of sulfur family. Remember that the polyatomic ions of sulfurs with oxygen starts from 4 like SO4, SO3 and S. The charge on each ion is negative 2. In case of sulfur, I take self, I write it in front of each ion. Now I use the A trick. I write AID. This A stands for AID. This I stands for IT. This D stands for IED. So I get sulfate, sulfite and sulfide. These are the polyatomic ions of sulfur family. Hence noted down. Now let me teach you the polyatomic ions of phosphorus family. Remember that the polyatomic ions of phosphorus ions with oxygen also starts from 4. Like PU4, PU3 and P. The charge on each ion is negative 3. In case of phosphorus, I take phosph. I write phosph in front of each ion. Now I use the A trick. I write A I D. We know that A stands for AT, I stands for IT and D stands for IT. So I get phosphate, phosphite and phosphide. These are the polyatomic ions of sulfur. Hence note it down. Now let me teach you the polyatomic ions of halogens which is considered very difficult, but don't worry. Firstly, consider chlorine family. In case of halogen, I usually starts from 3 and goes down like ClO3, ClO2 and Cl. Lastly, I write ClO and ClO4. Remember that these all ions have negative 1 charge. Now in the chlorine, I take chlor, I write it in front of all these ions. Now I use the trick AID. We know that A stands for AT, I stands for IT and D stands for IT. So I get chlorate, chloride, chloride. Now what about these two ions? Well, I use my personal trick. I write Hi Papa. Now listen carefully. This H stands for hypo and we already know that I stands for IT. Secondly, this P stands for per and we already know that A stands for at. So this is chlorate, this is chloride, this is chloride, this is hypochlorite and this is perchlorate. Thus using this trick, we can easily memorize the polyatomic ions of halogens. Now let's consider the polyatomic ions of bromine. Pause the video and try to name them using the A trick and Papa trick. 
Well, in case of bromine, I take brom and I write it in front of all these ions. Now using this add trick and papa trick, I can easily name all these polyatomic ions like bromate, bromide, bromide, hypobromide, perbromate. Remember that these all ions carry negative one charge. So these are the polyatomic ions of bromine family. Similarly, using this trick, we can easily name the polyatomic ions of iodine. For example, consider these polyatomic ions of iodine. Now I use the add trick and papa trick to name them all. I take only iode and I write it in front of all these ions. This is iodate, iodide, iodide, hypoiodide and periodate. So these are the name of polyatomic ions of iodine. Thus noted down the names of all these polyatomic ions. Therefore, using this trick, we can easily memorize the polyatomic ions. Now let me teach you memorizing hydrogen plus polyatomic ions. Firstly, let me teach you one important concept. We know that hydrogen ion carry positive one charge and oxygen ion carry negative two charge. Now when hydrogen ion and oxygen ion combine together, they form hydroxide ion. What about the charge of hydroxide ion? Well, the total charge on hydroxide ion is positive 1, negative 2 is equal to negative 1. So remember that if any ion gets hydrogen ion, its charge increases by 1. Let me repeat it. If any ion gets hydrogen ion, its charge increases by 1. Now consider hydrogen plus carbon polyatomic ions. We know that this is carbonate ion and it has negative 2 charge. Now I add one hydrogen ion to carbonate ion. Can you guess the name and charge on this ion? Well, the charge on it increases by 1. So the new charge on it is negative 1. Now there is one hydrogen ion and one carbonate ion. So the name of this ion is hydrogen carbonate or we can call it bicarbonate. Remember that in most cases we use bi for the presence of single hydrogen ion and polyatomic ions. So note it down this important point. Secondly, consider hydrogen plus sulfate family. We know that sulfate ion starts from 4 like SO4 are SO3 and they both carry negative 2 charge. The name of this ion is sulfate and the name of this ion is sulfide. Now I add hydrogen ion to each of them. The charge on them increases by 1. So the new charge is negative 1 and negative 1. Now there is one hydrogen ion and one sulfate ion. So the name of this ion is hydrogen sulfate or bisulfate. On the other hand, there is one hydrogen ion and one sulfite ion, so its name is hydrogen sulfite or bisulfite. Thirdly, consider hydrogen plus phosphate family. We write PU4 and PU3. The charge on these both ions is negative 3. The name of this ion is phosphate and the name of this ion is phosphite. Now I add one hydrogen to phosphate. Its charge increases by 1. The name of this ion is hydrogen phosphate or biphosphate. Secondly, I add one another hydrogen to biphosphate. The charge on it again increases by 1. Now there are two hydrogen ions. I write its name as dihydrogen phosphate. On the other hand, I add one hydrogen ion to phosphite. The charge on it increases by 1. The name of this ion is hydrogen phosphite or biphosphite. Secondly, I add one another hydrogen ion to biphosphite. The charge on it again increases by 1. Now there are two hydrogen ions present in it. Its name is dihydrogen phosphite. Thus using this trick, we can easily memorize polyatomic ions 
containing hydrogen ions. So note it down all these important points. Lastly, let me teach you some common polyatomic ions. For example, chromate ions like CrO4 and Cr2O7. The charge on both of them is negative 2. Now this is chromium ion and usually for O4 we write add. So it becomes chromate. Thus it is chromate ion. Secondly, in case of this ion, we have just doubled the chromate ions. That's why there are two chromium ions and seven oxygen ion. So we write its name as dichromate ion. Now the other common ion is permanganate ion. Its formula is MnO4 and it has negative one charge. Thirdly, thiosulfate. The word thio is usually used for sulfur. Its formula is S2O3 and it has negative 2 charge. Fourthly, cyanide like Cn and it carry negative 1 charge. Fifthly, thiocyanate. We know that the word thio stands for sulfur and cyanide is Cn. So this is thiocyanate. Lastly, ammonium ion like NH4 and it carries positive 1 charge. So this is the list of some common polyatomic ions. Finally, let me teach you my personal secret code of naming polyatomic ions within 30 seconds. Firstly, I write AID Hi Papa. We have learned that polyatomic ions of nitrogen family starts from 3 to 0. Remember that this 3 to 0 represents the number of oxygen. Let me repeat it. This 3 to 0 represents the number of oxygen ions. In case of sulfur and phosphate, this starts from 4, 3, 0. While in case of halogens, this starts from 3, 2, 0 and then 1 and 4. For example, consider these polyatomic ions and write their formula. Well, Sulfate means that it is sulfur and oxygen. Now I try to find the code of add. We have already learned that A stands for add. Thus here the code of add is 4 and the charge on it is negative 2. Hence this is the formula of sulfate. Secondly, phosphate means that there is phosphorus ion and oxygen ion. In case of phosphorus, the code for this ide is 3 and it has negative 3 charge. Hence this is the formula of phosphate ion. In case of chloride, I write chlorine and oxygen. The code for this ide and this list is 2 and we know that the charge on all polyatomic ions of chlorine is negative 1. Hence this is the formula of chloride ion. In case of hypobromide, I write bromine and oxygen. We have already learned in this lecture that hypo is derived from H and ide is derived from I. So this is high. We know that the code of high is 1. So this is the formula of hypobromide. In case of bicarbonate, we know that carbonate is CO3, bi stands for hydrogen. I write here hydrogen. And the charge of carbonate increases by 1. So this is the formula of bicarbonate. In case of bisulfite, bi stands for hydrogen, sulfite stands for sulfur plus oxygen. The code of ide in case of sulfur is 3. And the charge on sulfide increases by 1 due to hydrogen ion. So this is the formula of bisulfite. In case of dihydrogen phosphate, Dihydrogen means 2 hydrogen. Phosphate is sulfur and oxygen. The code of add in case of phosphate is 4. The charge on it increases by 2 and we get negative 1. So this is the formula of dihydrogen phosphate. In case of dichromate, dichromate means 2 chromium ions and 7 oxygen. The charge on it is negative 2. So this is the formula of dichromate. In case of thiosulfate, thio stands for sulfur and sulfate stands for SO4. 
Now we will remove one oxygen from sulfate and instead of it, we will add this sulfur to it. So we get S2O3 and the charge on this ion is negative 2. I put star on thiosulfate because it is very different from the rest of the polyatomic ions. Lastly, in case of thiocyanate, thio stands for S and cyanate stands for Cn. The charge on this ion is negative 1. So this is thiocyanate. Therefore, using this code, we can easily memorize or name any polyatomic ions in less than 30 seconds. I hope that you have learned the art of memorizing polyatomic ions.